Hi guys. Well, <laughs> this is an interesting one and I think I'm probably going to incur some wrath of some people on this one because, uh, well, I'm going to take a bit of a different tack than some of the approaches that have been made out there. And what am I talking about? Well, the title will have given it away. I'm talking about Phil Spencer apologising for the GDC conference and the fact that Microsoft had dancers scantily clad women dancers and obviously <laughs> if any of you guys haven't been buried under a rock for the last week you'll have known that this caused a bit of a shitstorm on twitter and on the internet and there were various news stories having a go at microsoft and various people like brianna Wu coming out of the woodwork and saying how disappointed they were and a few people saying that they felt betrayed by Microsoft and that they felt uncomfortable having these female dancers there. Then there was the obvious and <laughs> inevitable backlash by those who saw there was absolutely nothing wrong in this and that, you know, Microsoft should be able to have female dancers at their conference if they so wished. There were a couple of problems with that position, though, uh, particularly to do with the fact that they'd had a women in gaming conference the same day as part of the overall conference itself, as part of GDC. So that was an issue for me, I, you know, because that's kind of bad timing if you think about it. And the other issue I had with it was maybe it's a little bit unprofessional. You're having a professional conference, OK, and I know it's a party and you have dancers and booze and all sorts of things going on at parties that you wouldn't have in an office. But maybe, maybe this was ill-judged given the circumstances. But that sort of bleeds into the bigger picture about these things and whether we should be able to have dancers at these kind of conferences or booth babes or, you know, any number of other things that go on at these things. And I got thinking about it and I, and I thought, well, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to, to some people about this. So I talked to my partner about it and I talked to my sister about it and I talked to some of my friends about it. And the overall consensus seems to be that as I said earlier, that it was a little bit ill-judged and they probably shouldn't have done it. But what about the other issue here about the very idea that people were being offended by having female dancers up on stage? Now, let me put my own position here as regards dancers and strippers and these kind of things. And let's be honest here, let's be clear here. These weren't strippers, these were women in very little clothing, it has to be said, dancing. And obviously I wasn't there, so I don't know how provocative the dancing was or not. So I can't comment specifically on that. But let's let's think about this for a moment. I, If I was in a conference like that and there were women dancing up on stage, I look at them and I think, well, OK, you know, they were quite good looking women. I wouldn't find them unattractive. And that would have been it. I would have looked at them and thought, oh, they're nice looking. And that would have been the end of it. And I'd have walked away. And, you know, I've, I've been to bars where there's been strippers and I've seen that kind of thing going on. And it's not really for me, I have to say. I've also been in <laughs> positions where there's been men dancing and stripping, to be honest. I was at one particular nightclub a fair few years ago now. And the women in that particular club were almost baying for blood, or at least they were baying for something. Maybe it wasn't blood. So it's not just blokes who like to see this kind of thing. It's not just blokes who like to see women in very little clothing. Women like to see men taking their clothes off and men with their six packs showing. They won't be looking at me anytime soon because the only six pack I've got is in the fridge. So... <laughs> You can be a little bit hypocritical about this kind of thing if you if you only say that it's men and, and it's it's sexist to women. Maybe sexist if it's only having women up on stage. Perhaps they should have had some guys as well. Maybe they should have had some gay dancers, you know, wearing the full leather regalia and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> but that brings me to my other point. You know, if, if it had been guys up there on stage, would there have been this backlash? I'm not sure there would, because most of the blokes in the audience would have just gone, not my thing, and walked off. And I would imagine that most of the women in the audience here probably looked at this and thought, this is not my thing, and walked off. So, I don't know, feeling uncomfortable about something isn't a good excuse to rant and rage and have it stopped. 
or as some people are suggesting, get people into trouble over organising it in the first place. Whoever organised it should get a slap on the back of the wrist and told, you know, don't do that again, it's stupid. Because it was. It was a bit stupid, given the climate at the moment and given the fact they just had a conference on women in gaming. You know, I mean, come on, it's it's a bit... <laughs> it's a bit contradictory, isn't it? Let's be honest. So, yeah, my position is one of falling between the two groups here. On the one hand, I think people were overreacting and making, you know, a mountain out of a molehill. And on the other, I do think that Phil Spencer was right to have said something about it. And I do think Microsoft were right to come out and say that, you know, it probably won't happen again. Because for me, the bottom line is here that it was a little bit unprofessional. But that's it. That's about as far as I would say. And, you know, if you don't like this kind of stuff, if you don't like scantily clad women or scantily clad men dancing, you don't have to look at it, do you? It's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. And I don't know, I think there's some professional whiners out there who want to make a big deal out of absolutely everything that goes on when and and you know I, I don't want to get into this thing of comparisons but there are some real issues out there in the world that need to be addressed specifically women's issues and if you're focusing on trivia which let's be honest this is you're missing the point you're missing the big issue and I know some people are going to jump all over me for saying that and I know some people are going to jump all over me for saying that the whole having women up on a podium was ill-judged but that's the way I feel and <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed this is my YouTube channel so anyway let us know what you think in the comments be civil with each other and be civil with me if you will because I know this is an emotive issue but don't start shouting at each other and let's have a conversation and you know maybe someone can change my mind on this maybe I can change your mind on this I don't know I mean what do you think Anyway, that's all I've got to say on that one. I will speak to you guys again soon. Bye.